everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Is this a gaffe? Is this her just blurting out the truth? We don't know. I will let you guys be the judge of this, and I will just give you the information that I have. It could very well be one because um, so the stream was nuked, so it could very well be one. Uh, everybody in this company is evil and abusive, and um, yeah, I'm being harassed, basically. I'm being harassed. I'm being harassed. I don't know what to do. And basically, I'm very upset. Hi. Where do I live? What is there to live for? Oh my god. Now, like I said, this could very well be a gaffe. This could very, very well be a, a moment where the mask slipped. Uh, it, it seems like it might be because of the fact, here we go, it got nuked. It got nuked. So something happened. Uh, Anons are talking about it when it's happening. A VT thread, let's see what's going on there. You have received 1d4 uh, psychic damage. That's why I don't go there. <coughs> With the context of Aster stream that's seemingly coming out of nowhere, it seems to be a joke for her making a bit of response to someone in chat. Maybe, maybe it's a joke. Maybe it's not. Maybe uh, Nidhi Sanji removed it because it looks really bad on them. Even if it is a joke, it can look bad. It can uh, reflect badly on the company. So always, that's that's the thing. It's of course, I'm leaving it to you guys to decide whether it was a joke or wasn't in your own, you know, headcanon and everything like that. I'm just giving you the information that I can and giving you some sides that there could be to this whole thing time step to the vod was posted about an hour ago leading to vod being privated within minutes uh from what i've seen from the clip in question was most likely a joke in context of the stream supposedly based on aster putting her low in some kind of lol tier list league of legends whether she's poking fun at doki or antis i don't know the minute vod deletion is still sus it could be like i said just a weird pr move by niti sanji it could be that um this was just something that maybe she's going to get punished for we don't truly know it's not something that we can fully know because we're not inside of the company but it is sus and it does make it very sus so i'm just giving you the information that i have is evil and abusive and i'm just being harassed basically being harassed and being harassed they don't know what to do and basically get very upset sigh why do i live what does it live for blah, blah blah no idea where this came from wouldn't know how real this is it can be you know, something that is, like I said, it could very well be real and it could very well be just a joke. Context with Aster doing League of Legends stream, popped her voice chat in the middle of ASMR. Fadi wouldn't have context with her suddenly doing this and doing all that. So it could just be, you know, razzing of each other and just a reaction in character. We have Kurosanji merch again, having another defect, having another issue. This is more on my opinion, in my opinion, more on the people that they are choosing to make their products, which I'm guessing they're going for the lowest bid, the lowest priced person, which also can lead to defects as what is happening. I think that's primarily what's happening. It says, notice regarding manufacturing defect in Lazulite's second anniversary. Thank you for shopping at the Nidhi Sanji official store. Get to inform me that manufacturing defect has been identified in the affected product, Lazulite's second anniversary, Niji Nui Ilira Pandora. Sincerely apologize for any inconvenience, of course. We'll be sending replacement products for all affected customers. At least they're doing that much. Uh, uh, thanks for letting us know. So I noticed the Lyra Pandora, and for a moment I thought the entire world seemed to end. Oh, so we get two Nui's for the so people that ordered one if there was a manufacturing defect. Uh, one with and one without a defect. Some people can still take that as, you know, a big product to buy. Uh, still, it's good that they're doing this at the very least. Uh, they've been doing uh, that a lot lately. Riku is really fast when it comes to merchandise de defects. I don't know if Finana shares the same speedy customer service as her. Besides, I don't know if she has merchandise issues. No branding people as defect were better than Kindred. Riku himself is a de <laughs> Oh, God. People are going against Riku, of course. Uh, understand you're probably trying to play off the whole favoritism thing. That wasn't exactly fast. Complete opposite, actually. Uh, they're going to be sending replacement products, but not offer refunds. Uh, it's been nearly a year and they're just now doing something about it. So the second anniversary has been a year. At least they're doing something about it, but it's been a year. It's been a while, so it's not necessarily good. Uh, going to send replacement products instead of refunds or at least giving them like a voucher. Everything about Niji is a defect, to be honest. A lot of people are hating here. At least they're doing something. But again, I think this is primarily going for the lowest common denominator, lowest common pricing on this. And this is Niji Sandy's fault, 100%. It's taken this person very, very long to share this type of stuff. It was a clipper that's getting harassed by a Niji sister right here. Uh, for months, I think I'm finally ready to do so. The threat is going to be really long. I just feel like a huge burden. 
Uh, so since July last year, we've received various kinds of hate messages and DMs, both on Twitter and Discord. I've gotten those as well. A lot of them. I've gotten people pretty much stalking my YouTube channel, stalking my Twitter, sending me a lot of hate messages. It happens, unfortunately. June 2023, a close friend alerted me about a group of people who were saying horrible stuff about me on semi-public Discord server. And they put the, the results here. As most of you may know, I have a clip account for my Kamiyoshi that I have been running since his debut. Try absolute hardest to provide clips as fast as I can, no matter where I am. Accused in the server of various things, including one, talking ass about someone uh, from the server on a dock site. Two, stealing people's clips and claiming them as my own. And three, having superiority complex. Gonna cover everything down here. I never considered myself a main clipper or anything like that. We all work equally, equally hard and I respect the work that other clippers put out. That in mind, I never stoop to Lois to steal other people's clips and claim it as mine. If you're clipping the same thing, you're not stealing other people's clips. You're just clipping the same damn moment. That's the main thing. People can clip other moments the same way. Think she's the S because don't be a main clipper or whatever. Had to check her clip to make sure she didn't just screen record mine. Yeah, no. This is just someone probably being um, a little jealous. Envious is my opinion. For I've had those as well. Make Google Docs because they're jealous and envious. It, it happens. It happens. And for someone who claims to be close to tabs on me, not knowing my age and pronouns is so, and having everyone in there misgender me felt awfully belittling. Oh, and uh, on that note, keep tabs. Here's them making, uh, you know, claiming they have my IP. That's down in case they want to talk S. Keep my eyes on everybody in case somebody want to be shady. And the, over here, tell you they got all the info. Basically, here is just saying that um, they basically doxed them. Uh, and it says I posted my dopey appreciation post, putting absolute heart into it, expressing my emotions. Clearly something meant for my Oshis to read ended up in the wrong place. Kind of feel sick rereading this. Love that they care so much about you. Like, put your heart into that thing. I bet they couldn't come up with that. And, you know, basically, just people just hating. Oh, my God. More about the main mod and the server finding my IP. I don't really buy this story, but it's the fact that it even crossed their mind that boggles me. Like, truly, all this and for what? It's my friend, the server, being the only person who questioned this, by the way. My dad used to be a private investigator, so he has the tech to find someone's IP address. Never kept it because that would be weird. I guess my dad has it. Why would he have it if you didn't ask for it? Uh, what I've seen, I don't really understand how it works since that's my dad's thing. But he was like, is this person? And it's like, yes, yes, it is. Why did you have your... Look, the dad wouldn't be searching for things like that if it wasn't, you know, actually something. This person doesn't get how anyone could... Uh, in there jumped in the bandwagon and steer us unwarranted hate train. But anyways, I let that be. People moved on because I didn't want drama. But clearly people were still on my butt. After that incident, I received hate messages almost every single day from July until now. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. That's almost a full year. Not claiming these events are related, but I think it mutually... Naturally, you can see that maybe these things, you know, started bringing these things. Every time I reject hate, DM, or block an account, the account will deactivate and a new account will appear. Going to warn these messages are rather graphic and I have also included date stamps for them. We have here, stop up, suck up hypocrite that it preaches about wanting to have a peace in here, but your mind, uh, your mere existence is making everybody angry. You can block me all you want. I will torment you to finally decide to leave. I'll torment you until you can't take it anymore. Uh, that's my goal. And off yourself. Keep blocking all you want and deactivate the account. Oh, God. And then do that to your wrist. Oh my God, these people are just evil. Uh, you will blank. How this? this am I ensure that you're? Oh my God, this is. I can't even read it. I can't even read it on YouTube. I can't even read it on YouTube. I can't even do this on YouTube. It's just so much negativity, so much bad stuff. It's just, it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. Have a lot more screenshots, but they're old phone. A change in October 2023. Think you know me? I usually care so much, but I think this whole process is just so draining. I was struggling to find motivation, so they struggled to find motivation due to all this. Uh, I think this will end here, but some of my friends encouraged me to speak up about this. Very alone, isolated for months. They're, uh, you know, continuing on here. Self-conscious about every small action I did on here. My clip account, everything did seems to be garner a reaction. It's just a bit exhausting. Uh, what else to say, but I'll think I'll end with this. Doesn't take much to be kind. This conflict, you know, just be kind, people. Just be kind to each other, please. That's what I asked too. Instead of running to the extent of assumptions of your friends is promoting hateful behavior, don't bandwagon it and speak up. I can testify that clipping consistently is no easy task. So be nice to your community. Be nice to the people who do these things. We just want to spread joy and love to our Oshis, which is what all clippers want to do. Uh, and it says, thanks for reading this here. I'll be a little bit apprehensive about posting this after keeping it for months. But of course they posted it and I'm glad that they did. I'm really grateful for every single person who has shown me love and support. Even if we don't know each other personally, uh, you are such lovely people. To clarify, I don't clip on this account this account is my alt used to interact with friends try my best to respond to everyone i promise again i just want to say thank you so much uh it is idt uh i'll explicitly share my clip account here i don't know you don't know if they're gonna uh, spread it here but you know at least they let their voice be heard and it is unfortunate that a niji fan got harassed and slandered by another niji fan it's just infighting is never good in fandoms uh, some people get way too toxic in these whole things. It's really bad, and I'm glad that they are moving on and at least still doing what they love.
This is an update to the Lola situation. Lola, if you remember, is the person who was um, mistreated or whatever you want to call it by uh, people in the VTuber community. People in the community were not treating her well, were not uh, being kind to them, were not being, you know, fun or anything like that. So that's one of those things that does happen. Unfortunately, fortunately, whatever you want to call it. It is something that happens. And uh, it is something that is um, really unfortunate that this person who was their their art mom decided to go on a rant. It says, I am her first model mama. This, mo this model on the left, this model right here. The first model mama. Uh, and I feel so bad that all this is happening. I mean, she before she asked me if I can redesign her model. So I did. This was her idea, the design of her current model. I'm sad that the first Lola is now Shy Lola. And this was the redesign that she wanted. Pointing more downwards, make it look 3D, missing these, uh, heart shape more frilly, uh, make thighs look thick, a little bit lighter, missing markings and fishnets, but that probably not been added yet. <clears throat> and that's the new model that she ended up going with. Basically the ahoge, all these other things. So that's what she ended up going with. And I guess, like I said before, uh, when you're inspired, it's different than direct copying. Uh, the silhouettes may look the same, but it's, it's inspired instead of direct copy. And this person later says that they're done with Lola. She texted me yesterday after a little talk. I wish you luck with her new model. And then I blocked her. That is an extreme step to take, blocking somebody. Since she's not using my model, I don't want to be called Lola artist anymore. Just sad that even Lily was forced to say something. It is because people went and decided to be really evil. Uh, please, if you can, just stop giving her attention. I mean, it's easy to block her and live like nothing's happening. Easiest way to be happy. Whole situation is a mess. I don't think the model you made was even that similar to Lily. You don't even deserve to be dragged down like this. Even her new model artist had to private and take a break. I'm still very confused about her intentions. Hope she just misguided. Uh, it's so sad to see her artist because uh, I know how it feels to be called bad for co copying. Still, they don't do anything bad. They just do what they were commissioned to do. The art is cute and pretty. Sadly, the design ruins it by all the Lily stuff. Because Lily came first and all that kind of stuff, you know, you're going to get that kind of treatment. Um, and she did say that she was going to be graduating. So who knows? I'm not still not sure if she's graduating or not or what. But I hope both sides drop it and move on. That's what, what's done is done. I hope she changes for the better and uses this as a learning experience. And this is what this person put out here. This is the, the big rant that they put out. Just to end all of this, I want to say my thing. I'm 1,000, I'm 10,000% sure she is lying to all of us. I remember her asking if I can uh, rate the model she drew. Just quick sketch. And if there's anything looking like Lily that I can tell her, seriously, in our chat, she deleted messages. So this is a bit more information. She wanted everything to be uh, rated with fishnets. And, you know, the, still the art's pretty good. You know, that type of thing. And um, original message was deleted. And this is her rating it. The rating it with the with the same tail markings to, you know, basically remove the tail markings. The yellow uh, with fish on it. The face markings. Uh, shy little inside heart. You know, that type of thing. The changes that they wanted. And this is the deleted messages that they say that they did. And here is part number two. I was asking her what exactly she wanted. And we came up with something like this picture shown down below. But lately she said she found another artist and that she's sorry. She'll keep working with them. I was fine with that, even though I spent time on working on it. And that is what they came up with. They These ears do look a lot like Shia Lily. This would have been a, a, a closer direct copy, honestly. Uh, pointing more downwards, make it look 3D, shape, heart shape, frilly, all that kind of stuff. Hello, saw your tweet and I wanted to ask, should I keep working on your design or not? I mean, it's pretty set on what I've, I've got, so there's probably no point. Okay, okay. But thank you so much for working on it with me at the time. You really helped me figure out what I wanted. I'm glad I helped. So they were very helpful, but it sucks that they were dropped. This may be where some of the anger comes from. Just looking at it objectively, some of the anger may come from being dropped. Uh, three out of three, then she made a wood model that was like, okay, sweetie, do what you want. I don't care anymore. Uh, made the model. Uh, it was with her so long, but she's definitely trying to be Lily. And since it was working, she knew she can. But now, since so many people are not going for it, she's graduating. Is she graduating? Her date is 5 6 24, but it's June. It could be 6 5 24. She could be European. Remember, Europeans do day, month. And then year. So this is what she's saying here. It says, I'm not 100% sure if I'm graduating or not, but I'm most likely going to take a bit of a break from Twitter. I've been hard seeing people formerly looked up to mock me. And ultimately, I don't know if I'm welcome in this community anymore. I hate to give up on something I've been so excited for, especially when I was low key hyper fixated on it. But I feel little to no motivation when it comes to streaming, posting anymore. And I'm starting to wonder if graduation long term is a better idea for the mental health. Ever since the whole ordeal started, my whole life has felt like it's crumbling around me and I can't let myself get uh, to such a dark place again when I've worked so hard to climb out of it. If, if I do decide to graduate, I'll make sure to let you all know. So people are like saying, you know, don't graduate. I know this is a lot. It's, it is a lot when you get hit by that. I've been hit by that too. 
I've been hit by the, the copying allegations. I've been hit by things like that a lot. It is hard to cope. It is hard to deal with. It is hard to move on. But all you have to do, all you can do, is keep going. The people who are going to stay with you are the ones that are going to stay. The people who will leave were not your friends to begin with. And they're turncoats and they're just, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You can't be angry at them. They're just going to do what they're going to do. And you move on. And I hope the best for her and everyone else. And the reason why people are like, is she going to graduate? Because right here, they ha she had before up here a graduation date of 5-6-2024, which was 6-5-2024, June 5th, 2024, which would have been tomorrow as of the recording of this. And yeah, that wouldn't have been good. She's been doing, you know, some some uh, Serenity, Life 2D commissions, that kind of stuff. She's been doing some re reposting. Uh, she is privated her Twitter, but of course I followed her uh, because I support what she's doing. At least, you know, trying to be herself. And I still support that. This is a last minute update to the whole Small Lola situation. As far as I can tell, they have deleted their entire channel. Uh, and I do have um, someone that... Uh, was had sent me some information that also wanted me to read something that they had posted on here which was this which is my response this x1 daring vtuber to the small lola and shalili drama hope you meetings are happy you just made an innocent vtuber graduate all because of a similar design y'all should be ashamed of yourselves seriously people like y'all the force nice vtubers to graduate make vtubing community uncomfortable to be in again shame on y'all and normalizing harassment in communities love both small lola and shy Lily, and they deserve respect not harassment and yeah, I was not expecting this. I was expecting, yes, you know, of course, some people are, you know, they have hard times and they react in a negative way. This looks like it is a copycat. Someone probably saw that they had removed their Twitter and probably, bought, you know, got the small Lola VT uh, moniker from them because it says, Ahoy, I'm Lola, your cheerful, cheerful copycat hybrid. Uh, womp womp. Yeah, I'm guessing this is this is a troll account. This is a troll account that got a handle on everything. I don't think this is Lola doing it. I seriously, I am flabbergasted that anything like this ever happened. I am honestly surprised that something like this would happen. I'm trying to see if uh, anything is going on with their Twitch. Their Twitch does seem active. It seems like they are still on Twitch themselves. I will show it to you guys right here. This is Lola Finn, their actual, you know, uh, Twitch channel and, you know, having their everything done. Yesterday was their last stream. They are still on Twitter. I mean, Twitch, but their Twitter has been pretty much taken over by somebody who is very likely to be a troll or someone that doesn't like them. This is the update that I didn't want to give, but it's good that she's taking a break from Twitter. I hope that's all it is and it doesn't actually cause a graduation but we may never know and what little portion of the mata x sayu uh threats things that were going on whatever you want to call them on the situation with um what did they what the needy sisters pretty much needy sisters doing their thing even if they lowered it to one percent uh they'd still make more than any shoujo because he sells more uh didn't she make everything behind the scenes and then ask management for approval and after christmas day how did it protect selen when Niji's simple task of getting perms um let's see we are talking about ngn here frankly don't enough don't care enough about Nidhi Sen to give an input. Drama hurt their numbers, but they're still way bigger than anyone in Vishojo, of course, because they have a huge, huge agency. Uh, I know they're not doing too hot right now, but in the past, they beat them all. Once recovered, would become five views. Um, find one example of Tan and Vishojo getting undue favoritism. You mean all the people that want to join but can't because they're not special friends with them? That's true. That is that is kind of a, a nepotism hire. Problem is owning the IP then using it to keep their talents chained down is uh, breaks their self-esteem, so they think they're nothing without Nidhi Sanji. Sorry, but without the company, they would be nothing. That's another two-view VTuber. Just look at how irrelevant Quinn is after he left and his fans vanish. So these people are, are coping. There's a lot of cope. Most people are focused on the bigger livers to try to start S. Would not be surprised if Vishojo had a hand at it. Oh god, they're saying that Doki uh, and Vishojo were trying to have a hand at it. Need is still better than Vishojo. Vishojo wishes to be at their level, but that's why they keep stealing livers. Vishojo is a small company. They're enjoying themselves as a small company. They don't really care, I don't think. Watch, they just care as long as they're making some money. I think that's all that really matters to them. So it says, uh, watch the videos uh, of her old gen mates about her termination. It's pretty clear there was something very wrong uh, going on. Uh, people have been suspicious that Saya was the one bullying Salem for quite a while. I highly doubt it. Saya wasn't even there long enough to, to bully Doki or anything like that. That's another big issue. Uh, blank to be shoujo. All they do is poach livers. I think they make big, big there and fail. See the bigger stage. They actually, their livers are doing pretty well. This is cope again. I'll become irrelevant with this. No more drama. And their nyfco.org, the host error, basically, it's all gone. That's that's basically them saying, yep, cope and cope harder. 
NDF is definitely on copium. Definitely on copium. Michi Mochi V gets taught some geography by a friend. Also, Michi commits the cardinal center of referring to South, all of South America as Brazil. Now we need Mo Mochi Michi, Doki, and Min to GeoGuessr. Yeah, they're all not great at this kind of stuff. Begin Being in the equator means it's the hottest places. Being in the tropics means that the temperature varies more hot months and way hotter in the equator. And the cold months are way colder too. Being in the equator just means you're constantly hot. Yeah, I've been to equator countries. I've been to equator areas. It is freaking hot all the time. It is annoying. It is very annoying. But let's go. Aha! What the fuck is so big? There we okay, go. Okay, now imagine this, but tilted. That tilt we did? Yes. It's like that. So I'm in the United States. Like here. It spins this way. So it's tilted. So this this is like if we looked at it head on, but this entire thing is rotated a little bit. So you would rotate the image. I, I don't know how to rotate an image here. I don't think you can in MS Paint. Yeah, I don't think you can. Yeah, but just imagine that rotated. Okay. You tilt your head. Tilt your head. Yeah. Um, yes. And I'm in the United States. Where is that? The United States. Where is the United States? Where oh, God. Above oh, Mexico, God. under Canada. Which shape am I looking at? Is America oh my God. on the left side? She really okay. doesn't know. Wow. I mean, but uh -huh. to be go. fair, yes, okay. in the U.S., we don't know either. So that's where I live. I'm in the United States. Okay. So imagine this all rotated. Yes. Oh. So in summer, even though I'm I'm tilted towards it, I'm not close enough to it that I get super, super hot. Ah, oh, the, one, the one that boils is Antarctica here. No. 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 The middle line. The middle, the middle line. line. So you see that red line across it? Yes. That is the hot, hottest part. Anything that lays on that red line is the hottest part. And the further Yo! you get away from that red line is the colder it is. Yes. Indonesia. Yes, exactly. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much they are. And that's that's the whole thing. That's, that's the line that I wanted to get to. Uh, yes, anything that is on the equator is effed in, sir, in, uh, in, the, in terms of heat. It's going to be... Here's some mint stuff at Op Ofkai, some happy mint with here too. Another happy mint moment of her being in front of everybody in uh, Vishojo for the Vishojo Cafe. Kuro in maid outfit, not even butler's outfit, I guess. Wouldn't be surprised if it was, if it was idea. Kuro seems like the guy who would do it for fun. Exactly. Even Kuro, like people are like, Kuro maid, Kuro maid, holy crap, this is insane. But more on mint. And of course, this is on uh, first Ofkai was a blast. Here we have mint. Giving, giving like kisses and stuff. Okay. Here we have everyone at the the maid cafe. Here is everyone here at the maid cafe because they were there, I believe, uh, virtually, electronically. And here is this person made mint as well uh, at this person's stuff. So, you know, they allowed that picture to be taken. So it's not any doxing or anything like that. Will you make an appearance at Dragon Con this year? It was great to see a familiar face. Um, Again, this is supposedly meant here. Uh, we don't know if it's actually meant. I'm not going to say it is or isn't, but it is fun seeing this stuff happen for mint. Y'all do know I love memes. So here we have, sorry for the empty post. Thought we needed some space. Nidhi Sanji has nothing to report anyways. Nothing significant or important happened. No news from just, you know, the the, the blank face guy. Uh, new VTuber concert coming to Singapore, Virtual Rhapsody. Virtual Rhapsody was empty. At least the ones, the pictures that we were seeing. And the final one is over here. Yogi D Spade, Scarlet, Rosemary, never forget them. Nijian and Halo CN. Uh, at least there's some innocent talents that didn't participate in any of the drama. Yeah, at least maybe, maybe. Uh, because yeah, there were some. There were some like Artia and others that were directly involved in the Halo CN drama. Uh, that were actually being like, uh, you know, turncoats. They were basically playing both sides, trying to say, oh no, don't cause drama. And then on the other side, being nationalistic, they have the right to do that. But yeah, that was messed up. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.